What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Hunter X here bringing us an episode of FTB Ocean Walk. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. With that being said, let's get into today's episode. Alrighty, guys. So, in today's episode, I think we should technically work towards our mob farm or building up our mob farm next right because i want to get a ton of that inferium stuff that is going to allow us to get jump into mystical agriculture so with that being said i'm trying to figure out if there is an easier way to or maybe a different set of blocks that we could use maybe for building material for building materials but also for building six as well i think it's called the stone cutter in vanilla minecraft so yeah i want to i want to check out the stone cutter real quick because i mean i've been using it in exigens with andesite to get some pretty cool blocks and it doesn't look like cobblestone has very much of the way of you know being building material-esque stuff do we have a way to generate like andesite for example that might be a little bit more better because as you can see oh wait we have the chisels mod it looks like is that the same oh it is the same chisels mod okay and that only requires a dime well a diamond a diamond in what a diamond in some gold and maybe some redstone as well um you know we actually were talking about this uh we don't have diamonds but we can use an iron chisel for now i guess i mean it's not gonna be like your like you know oh that is so much more that that gives us so much more access to just like a a bunch of different styles um one of my favorite styles is obviously we i, I don't have access to a lot of the stuff that I would like um I honestly just want to use this stuff to build a sort of like basic platform I don't want to you know I don't want to build the actual mob farm because that's a lot of chiseling right but yeah so I I kind of want to you know talk about some stuff in today's episode but this is a lot of anxiety I, I feel like I'm having a lot of anxiety over the past like two weeks coming to youtube and everything else with like you know streaming and all that kind of stuff um you know my brain has just been awful the past two weeks like i've literally never been less focused ever like i am so distracted so easily it's not even funny like it's yeah it's it's been a struggle for me for the past couple of like the past two weeks literally have been like night of videos for the past two weeks and i think i've talked about this before just night of videos give me so much anxiety it's yeah it's not good i just i don't know i need to i think i'm kind of like burnt out in a, in a way I mean, doing this 2000 hour stream challenge and, you know, I still have like two months left to think about it. I mean, it, it's November 2nd, the, the time you're seeing this video, but it's just like, damn, I have two months, right? Two months left. Oh, wait, this is only this is nine by nine so this is 11 by 11 uh this would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think i need to go two out in this direction is it me or i'm really hoping that there isn't like any like scary we monsters you know that are gonna like you know like piranha are gonna jump in the water and eat me because that would not be funny uh actually fun fact i have a i have a fear of water yes i have a terrible fear of drowning um partly because i i um 
I don't think I've ever told this story before. Not even my parents know. I almost drowned at a friend's pool. This is like way back. Like this is a long, long, long time ago. Um, ever since then, I think since I almost drowned that one time, like I, for, I can, from what I can remember is like, I was literally scared to take a bath for like two weeks straight. Like, I mean, yeah, I still like, I, I mean, I'm not afraid of the bathtub anymore. That would be silly. But when it pertains to deep water, like pools or even lakes or oceans, just the thought of it is just like, no, it's just a straight no for me. Obviously, this is different. This is a video game. I mean, in some ways, it is kind of triggering, though, actually, for me. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's it, it feels, you know, it's iffy, but it's not, you know, it would be a different story if, like, if I was playing this pack many, 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 many years ago when the incident happened. I wouldn't be playing this pack. I, I can guarantee you that, right? But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, you know, obviously, there's just a lot of stress in my life currently. Um, you know, you know, I mean, everyone goes through stress, and and this is also something I don't really like talking about because, like, again, I'm aiming to be lighthearted and and you know for a place to build a community base around a place a safe a, a safe space you know a place where we can get away from the real fucking world that is 2021 I almost said 2020 so hold on we need to count this so this is so this this is gonna be the floor actually yes this is gonna be the floor so we're at 122 hold on we all know that I can't do simple math, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta use my calculator. Yeah, I feel like I should go back to kindergarten. I can't fucking count. One twenty-two. Uh, we want to do twenty-two blocks, right? Yeah, twenty-two blocks. That's that's fine. So we want to go up to one forty-four. Is kind of the 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 Y height that we want to go to, and. The reason why I'm doing 22 and not 23 is because remember 22 will be the base level in which where the water streams are going to go, right? So the water streams are going to go on the, the, on the 144, the spawning platforms are going up, uh, I believe two layers. So it would be 146 is where our spawning platforms are going to go right ideally right it's kind of where the um those will go also one of the things that stinks about this mod pack is i don't have you know what hold on no 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 i'm gonna be smart about this hold on i'm getting an i'm getting a water bucket and we're gonna we're gonna oh don't do that i just lost a bucket i'm not going in the water to get it <laughs> I'm not going in the water to get it. It's fine. It, it's only three pieces of iron. Who cares? Not me. We can literally make that back in 50 years. It's fine. Um, I, I'm if the way I'm gonna get actually, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna water bucket. It's fine. Uh, so we should probably water. We should probably patch that up again, just so that way we don't make a mess. Actually, 144 isn't that high. I say that, but now that I'm up here, it's like monkey sketch. No, I assume I just do that, right? Uh, it's, it's gonna make a mess, but it's fine. Okay, yep. Yeah. It's gonna make a mess. It's fine. And then, hold on. I don't wanna. Wait, let me eat some food. Actually, just don't miss. Hmm. <laughs> You might want to tell me that, uh, you know, like five seconds before I actually jumped. That would have been great. All right, there you go. Oh, uh, we should be good. I'm just going to redo that just to kind of like, you know, make sure it's actually good. I should be smart and do like double. Okay, that's just, that's just too much work. 
lol. But yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know if it's burnout, but also part of it, it's not just like, you know, I don't think it's burnout. But I feel like my burnout would be something completely different. But I think I know what it is. And it's the combination of like my anxiety and my diabetes is really fucking me up right now. And I mean like really fucking me up. Um, you know, when you have high blood sugars, um, and you know, fun fact, I used to ha I used to have blood sugars in the five hundreds. Um I had blood sugars in the five hundreds for like two years or so. So this was literally me every day for two years. So I, I think I kind of know what it feels like. Um, and I'm just not taking care of myself. I'm not taking my insulin properly, not checking my blood sugar when I eat, things like that. And, you know, for example, I, um, yesterday I got off stream early because I, I got, suddenly I got this massive headache. Fun fact, I checked my blood sugar and you wouldn't guess what it was. It was 497, which is actually three points off. I think it's, it was three points off, uh, what they call keto isodosis, I believe, is what it's called. The medical term is called, which is basically when your blood sugar, there's so much ketones in your, or there's so much sugar in your blood, but also there's key, uh, something with key, ketones, something, I don't know. The doctor explained it to me once and it was too medical for me, but basically it's when your blood sugar is over, I believe, 400 500 something like that is um yeah it can yeah it's a problem right y your blood sugar should not be i think there's like a, a really good chart that you can look, look up online um basically i think anything over 200 is like really high but for example, blood sugars at a 400 plus, uh, no, it's three, it's 300 plus. I think, yeah, it's 300 plus. I think is, I don't know. I have, to, I have to re look at the chart again, something like that. It's, it's somewhere there like 300, 400. Yeah. It's somewhere in that area where it's like seek immediate medical attention kind of thing. And I'm just like, whatever, you know, I'm 21. My body, it'll be fine. It's only going to shave off like, you know, a year off my life. It's fine. I'll be probably dead by 51 anyway. You know, you know, knock on wood, just saying, but you know, oh my God, fucking water. I hate water. Stop it. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah. And I mean, I was doing so good at the beginning of the year, but then when I, when I decided to do this freaking challenge and I've got two months left. Uh, I've already sunk 700 hours into streaming for this challenge already. I'm not going to fucking, I'm not going to give up. You know, I'm, I'm literally right there. I only need to do a few more streams of, I believe 10 hours a day. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And I believe we put one on this, right? So it's one, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Okay. First of all, I did this wrong. So if you don't know what type of mob farm I'm building, I'm building a very basic of the mill um mob mob farms that you can build right this is like the vanilla like the one that you do over the o the ocean in the vanilla in minecraft vanilla basically this i would like to use this though to get a cursed earth farm that's the plan right because you can get i believe it's blessed earth or something two three four five six seven a nine but on that ninth block is where the wall goes right 
This is where you, all your water will go. I wish that we had the dark utilities vector plates, but we don't. We have mob grinding utils plates, but those aren't really good. One, two, three, four. Actually, I don't know if they're any good because I, I haven't tried them yet. But they require iron and, you know, right now... The, okay, the one thing that bothers me about this mod pack is the... Just the resources, man. Everything is a percent chance get. And it's frustrating. I mean, I mean, that's usually the case in X now, ho. But, like, it's never this grindy. Right? One, two, three, four. Five. I think it's X Naho is not this grindy. I feel like I'm not I'm not really sure if this pack is like supposed to be like normal mode or if it's supposed to be like an expert style mod pack. Like I literally have no idea whether if this is supposed to be an expert style pack or not. I mean, it feels like an expert style pack. I mean, not real, not, re I mean, I guess defining expert, everyone defines expert in their own way, I guess. Oh, this is dangerous. I'm literally hopping around <laughs> mid air over here. Like I'm Spider-Man or something. Like, what am I doing? I'm asking to fall off this damn thing and die. Um, yeah, I honestly, I might start watching Let's Plays of this because I'm at loss of what to do because, you know, um, do we want to make this double wide? I don't know if we want to double wide it. I think it, it's going to cost more cobblestone to double wide it. I'm not even sure if I want to do that. Because that's a lot of cobblestone. I mean, to be fair, we have 128 stacks. So it's not really that big of an issue. Right? But, I mean, it's still a lot of stacks. Uh, What do we have for... I don't even know if we have builder's wands in this pack. I didn't even bother checking. Usually it's kind of the first thing I check is what type of builders ones we have available to us if any so it looks like we do have not enough wands so it looks like we do have a builder's wand of some kind which is fucking fantastic because yo i don't know i think minecraft should add a builder's wand to to minecraft builders ones are they're not i think like they're not that op they're like not that bad they're not like that game breaking like if we're to like i mean i guess you can't really compare creative mode flight to wands but like i feel like creative mode flight is way more broken than being able to place blocks more quickly you know what i mean it's gonna leak water everywhere whatever i'll fix it later um yeah i feel like maybe getting builders ones in minecraft might be a, a cool little nifty little gadget i mean i guess everyone's entitled to their own opinions right so i mean i just think it would be really a, a neat little feature oh i gotta be careful did i did i did i do an oopsie hold on i gotta go down and check Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't do an oopsie. Because that would be bad. <laughs> How much cobblestone do I have? I don't have enough cobblestone. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like... Oh, that's another thing that's also annoying about this pack is... The slowness. If you're underwater too long... Without a proper scuba suit... Or whatever that... There's a, a, a thing that we can craft. I think it's called like a moth or something. I don't remember what the name of it is. Um, a sea moth. I just broke those points. Oopsie. But, um, yeah, this is going to be one of those weird videos today, I think. 
and I hate making these videos because like I never know what to like put in the thumbnail. Because I'm just I'm just like kind of I'm just kind of like speaking my mind today, and kind of going with the flow, instead of like you know, doing like my be right back you know kind of thing. And I don't know. I feel like some people don't like some people don't like it, and I just I just want to record a video. Right? Also, it took a long time for me to get going on even starting recording this video so i was just like i'm just gonna go with it start the freaking thing and we'll just see what happens you know that's today's episode and i, I hope you guys are okay with that because I, I i do like doing some like the the uh whatchamacallit sometimes i i do like doing the more talkative or the the more talky talkative episodes um oh you butt munch on the jump in the hole um yeah this is also gonna get very dangerous if i don't light this up properly um you know hey just go into peaceful mode it'll be fine um you can see i was clearing the, the weather because i was like literally in game and i'm just like man this pack i'm just i got i just gotta hit the record button and just do it but yeah my anyway back to the original topic my brain has just been up and down the past couple of weeks that's not even what i came down here for what am i doing i came down here because i need another iron wand um but yeah my brain has just been up and down recently and it's just it's sometimes it annoys the crap out of me and especially like i feel bad because like it happens during when i'm live too on twitch i mean it's something that i can't really control unfortunately because my brain just kind of just does what the fuck it wants you know it's just like i'm just like the i'm just like the the, the secondary pilot sometimes you know eh. oh look at that parkour king Parkour King. It's gonna be oh, this is gonna be really awkward. Hold on. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward because yeah, it broke mid. Oh god, oh god. That was so anxiety provoking right there. You know, we're not just, you know, what are we like a hundred and something blocks from the ground there that's not anxiety provoking at all no totally no all right here's the tricky part is now building the wall for this farm and deciding on what we want to do because i think we should just stick with a two high or two and a half high block farm because again, we're we're using water to transport mobs, and that doesn't go so well with Endermen, right? Endermen teleport away when you when they touch water. So I think our best option here is to only do two and a half blocks. Um, I'm debating if we want to do spiders or no spiders, because well, spiders, you know. The, the the problem with spiders and, and to my knowledge at least from my understanding of even just building modded farms in general like spiders typically clog up the mob farm but also spiders do give you drops that you do need like for example spider eyes and and things like that so it's it's like um I guess what we what we could do theoretically is maybe we do something with spiders in a way where um we get like a mob swab or something and that mob swab could then you know like you know we can change the spawner do whatever we need to do to um able to get like spider a spider spawner or something but i think this time around i i think 
I'm gonna keep spiders just for this time around. Um, sh well, if I go one more block, that's gonna be a problem, right? So if we just literally slap this entire thing, I think we should be fine. Um, yeah, that's that's always that's always uh that's always fun jumping down. Yeah, th that sh this farm should in theory work. There is a couple of things that we do still need to do though. And that is like, you know, obviously getting the roof on and whatnot. And, but also we need to, um, get all the trap doors in place. Cause yeah, this farm requires trap doors and there's a, a, a lot of other components that go into building this, uh, beautiful mob trap. If you will, I'm going to go ahead and grab two buckets because we're going to need them. And then now it's like, uh, we just do crafting, right? We, we get a ton of slabs. And that's all we need from this point on. Well, for, for the most part is slabs. Right. And we, we slab up the roof. I'm going to bring torches actually. Just so I can torch up up there while we work up there and do work stuff, right? Because I don't want to, I don't want to like put the roof on and then have mobs start spawning and then I, you know, get knocked off or something and die. That won't be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some torches up here and and whatnot. So okay. Um, you know what actually What we should do actually just to be a little bit smart Right What we should do And hear me out is i'm gonna put in the trap doors first And then we're gonna put the water in because The water in the slabs I'm gonna do the roof last and here's my thought process to that. If we do the roof last, I don't have to worry about, you know, doing the, 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 the slabs and, and all that stuff while mobs are trying to spawn and go down the water. You know what I mean? So I think it's a typical, it's a, it's better safe to do it that way first than to, you know, have mobs potentially spawning and trying to kill me while I'm trying to work on the farm kind of thing. So let's get ourselves some wood, lots of wood, um, very large amount of wood. This should, I don't know, this is, is this going to get me enough trap doors? It might. It's going to give me two stacks of trapdoors. Two stacks should be enough, right? There's no way two stacks is not enough. That That's not 128 blocks. There's no way. Maybe for the roof. We're not going to trapdoor the roof anyway. What? what? No. We're, we're only using it for the... We're only using it for the edges of this thing. Right? So by doing this, it, it, it does something to the mobs pathing, I think. I don't know the exact, like, vanilla, like, what it provides for vanilla. But it's something to do with the mobs walking or thinking that the trap door is a full block and falling off. Which is quite interesting quite interesting ai mechanics but it's always scary doing that jump even though i know that there's water down there so i was like mm, it's a little sketchy yo if I, I might i might just i might just keep the episode a little bit longer on the longer side just so we can get this done all in one episode that actually sounds like a plan to me honestly i'm always kind of like afraid to like i don't know i guess uh yeah, there's, there's that part. That part's done. Now all we need to do is the water filtration system. I thought you can climb trapdoors. 
Well, I'm gonna break a trap door just so I can get in the corner here and put all the water in. Right? I'm gonna build an infinite, infinite spring here by doing something like this. And then we do something like that. And I think I'm able to just, oh, see, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know that you could do that. That's quite interesting. Um, oh, wrong one. Wrong source. Grab that. Grab from the middle. I can actually just do this. I have two buckets on me. Silly goose. I didn't even need to bring you that. Okay. Water filtration system has been installed. But of course, I chose one of the hardest blocks to do. Put the trap door on. Oh, it's gonna be that one. It's gotta be that way. Alright, here's the plan. Great. That's not what I wanted. This is also not what I wanted. Oh, great. I should pay attention because if I don't. There you go. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this. And I'm going to move it down a block. Just so it doesn't mess with our, our water filtration system. Oh, great. Now I can't get up there. Great. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Come on. I mean, I mean. Oh, don't oh, shit. Well, I mean, it worked. Yeah, but how the hell am I gonna? I actually have an idea of how I'm gonna get up there. It's actually getting nighttime, so it's, let's sleep. I'm gonna slash back up there. Because I'm a traitor. And I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. That's right. What you gonna do about it? Eh? I mean, I guess you can stop watching my videos, but don't stop watching my videos. My, 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 my videos are awesome. And they're also free. My, my, my stride, and I think I've talked about this before. My stride in content is literally to be able to just like have people watch my videos like while relaxing or while you know cooking or something right because that's also the, the type of content that i like to watch you know the, the type of content that like you can just throw on while you cook a quick meal whether you're cooking you know ramen noodles or a, a little a five-star cuisine which you'll never catch me catch catch me cooking a five-star cuisine without burning the house down at least once lol I literally almost burned the house down trying to make eggs. So me trying to cook a five star cuisine is probably as worse of an idea as the, uh, you know, I don't know, the, the flying car or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe flying cars will be the future. Who knows? But I mean, if we could barely drive on the road, what makes you think we're going to be able to drive in the air? You know what I mean? If people could barely drive on roads. What what gives you the idea? I mean, I guess if you think about it, driving on roads is more difficult. I feel like it's more difficult because of the space you're confined to confined to a space, right? And that's like one of the the my, my difficulties in driving is like. I mean, I'm not a bad driver. Don't 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 get that twisted. But I mean, yeah, I'm a pretty bad driver. But still. I'm safe, but <clears throat> you know, like what if there was a theoretical, if you can drive on a theoretical infinite space, hypothetically, because you know, even though flying there, it's not technically infinite. You still can crash into things like buildings and, and such, but flying, there's so much more room compared to like, say like the road, right? The road you maybe have like, like one or two inches 
between you and the car next to you or something i don't know the exact measurement but you get you get the idea right it's like if you could fly i feel like you would do a better job flying than you were driving because when you're in the air you have a lot more open space but also just it, it, it's not even that like some people just have terrible reaction time right and I, that's why i think like gamer all gamers must be good drivers right especially like i can't imagine like for example like like i wonder how pro cod players drive you know what i mean or pro valorant players or pro csgo players or whatever shooter game because some of those pro like valorant players have ridiculous reaction time you know what i mean it's like ridiculous i think my average is like i don't know i'm below average but also one thing that sucks i guess your reaction time can't really be tested right unless if it's tested in real life because reaction t i think reaction tests that are done based on the like a reaction test on the internet is no i mean it can be pretty accurate but i don't think it's 100 percent accurate because th you know you have the response time between you and the monitor and how fast your computer is right see i feel like you can't really judge in a reaction time based on you know like i mean i guess human benchmark is a pretty good website but like again you know you have the response time of your computer the response time of your, like your your monitor all that that that's all that i think that all takes a, a critical role into your reaction time like you know so i mean i i usually do those i usually take those reaction tests with a grain of salt right but it's always kind of fun to like you know see your reaction times and or your average reaction time or whatever i think there should be the, the, i don't think it's even possible like what if there was a monitor that had zero millisecond delay i mean like what would the what would be for it to have a zero millisecond response time so an instant response time like how many times a second would that monitor have to refresh and like how much power consumption would that cost you know what i mean i mean some of these monitors are fucking ridiculous man like 240 240 hertz refresh rate <sighs> super fast all right there you go there's our mob farm it's basically built all of in its entirety all i have to do is one remove the bucket that's right there and two take out the torches Of course. Oh, great. I'm not gonna be able to get out this hard, am I? I'm not gonna be able to get up this. I'm gonna have to break it, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna 100% have to break it every time I wanna go up. Because, yeah, getting up this is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. It's fine. All right. Good, 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 good. 
And then we have one more. Oh, wait, did I put the thing back on there? I don't think I did. That's not good. The trapdoor. I didn't put the trapdoor back. Son of a butt munch. I forgot to put the trapdoor back. I put the drop door on the wrong side. God damn it. Left side. I gotta literally do this. I'm not gonna try to jump across. That seems like a dangerous act in itself. Okay. I don't really care about that torch anyway. It's fine. All right, it should be pitch black in here. Yes. Good. So now all the need wait, make sure that all the trap doors are in place. There's not any missing trap doors anywhere. From what I can see, everything has everything everything's all good to go. I just need to make sure that down here is hatched up before things start spawning. And that's fine. The only thing I can get out right now is babies. Baby skellies and all that fun stuff. And we should be able to put these on. And then that should be a mob farm done. That should be a mob farm that is nice and complete. Now I'm hoping that everything is good. Now I'm hoping everything is good. Not really sure. But I guess we'll find out here very, 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 very soon, won't we? Nothing seems to have spawned yet. Which has me a little concerned, but we'll kind of have to kind of see. Anyways, guys, uh, it is time to wrap up today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, today's little talkative episode, please do me a huge favor. Make sure to leave a like on the video, click the share button, but also hit that subscribe button. We're almost on our way to 500 subscribers. We're halfway to that 1000 subscribers. But with that being said, Make sure to follow me on all, all my social medias, including my Twitch. They're all linked in the description down below. As always, guys, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time.